when they start trying to price you too high. Hey, bro, I have a simple question. How much money can be made in this business as a beginner? I want us all to give Indra a warm welcome. Okay. Now, that was an awesome question. And I'm going to give you a simple answer. Let me read the question again. Hey, bro, I have a simple question. How much money can you make? I don't really think that there's a limit, but what I will say, I will rephrase your question, right? When I read this question and Indra, I'm sorry if I'm saying name wrong, bad at names, but I'm a real honest person. I'm a hundred. You feel me? When I read this question, I read it. And like in my head, I'm acting like I know what your voice sounds like. And then I, I feel like your voice is shaky. I feel like you're scared. I feel like you're scared. That's facts. I feel like you're scared. Because, and it's not wrong with you being scared. Trust me. I'm scared. Okay? So it ain't not wrong with you being scared. But that's a question somebody scared asks. And you want to know what that tells me about you? That tells me that you are smart. Because when it comes to getting into the phone flipping business or any business in general, you should be scared out of your... I'm trying not to curse because I don't curse on lives and all that. But you should be scared. Okay? Very, very scared. Because there's a chance you ain't going to make nothing. There's a chance you're going to sit there and you're going to buy five people's courses and you ain't going to make nothing. There's a chance that you're going to sit there and invest so much money into something and not get no result. There's a chance that you're going to sit there and work for the rest of your life. There's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance that you'll be on YouTube. Not you, bro. I'm not talking about you. Well, I don't know if you're a bro or a young lady, but you get what I'm saying. There's a chance you'll be a failure when it comes to being able to make money on your own. Not everybody's meant to make money on their own. Not everybody is. I ain't going to lie. Because not everybody has the... If I say that, is that actually something that's going to get me in trouble? Not everybody can do it, okay? Nobody, not everybody has the kahunas to do it, okay? Um, because it is very stressful, right? So what i say is you're only going to get what you... I can't say work for it because you don't get what you work for. You're going to get what you deserve, okay? Um, because I'm going to tell you something. That, that whole mantra that, you know, you get what you put in and, and you're going to get as much as you work, that's a whole lot. I've been working for so long and I feel like I deserve a private jet. I feel like I deserve a yacht. I feel like I deserve um, a lot of things. A mansion to live in California on um, Venice Beach. I deserve to be able to play basketball in the NBA and probably help my Sixers. I feel like I deserve to be... Like, you feel me? I, I really... I feel like I'll put that work in. Like, I ain't going to lie. I'll put that work in. And I'll give y'all a prime example. I've worked playing basketball since I was four years old. I busted my butt, sacrificed my body, dove on floor, stole balls, broken fingers, jammed fingers, hurt knees. My knees hurt until this day. I busted my behind and got nothing. How many people go to college, get into a sport, bust their butts, win championships, Passing somebody else the ball that's not better than them and do not get that scholarship. Or not the scholarship, but don't get drafted. How many people play football, catch the game-winning catch plenty of times for their team, but never see the field and make thousands of dollars? Facts. How many people? A lot of people, right? You do not get what you deserve. That's not true. You can bust your butt every single day and see no results. Because it's not about your work ethic. It's not. It's not about how bad you want it. It's not. It's really about you being consistently different. Moving different. Prime example. I'll give you a a, a prime example. 
If I'm phone flipping and I'm making 10 offers every single day and I'm doing, I got my script in my notes, I'm sending my script every single day, I'm hammering down to the behaviors, I'm doing it every day, right? I'm doing what Brandon says every single day. I'm doing what he say, but I ain't getting nothing out of it, right? If I'm doing that and I'm not getting nothing out of it, you want to know who's the problem? The problem is me because what I'm doing is I'm doing the same thing, getting the same result, which is not the result that I want. I got to constantly be somebody that is willing to change, even if it makes me uncomfortable. And that is the reason why people become successful and the reason why people don't become successful. Because sometimes you might be really good at basketball, but basketball isn't for you. Maybe you might score 50 points and a half and you might be really, really good, but basketball is not something for you. Because even though you had those results, your team sucks. Even though you're scoring 50 points a game, like bum-ass James Harden, that's why we traded his bum behind, maybe you're doing that, right? But you don't got no championships because you're a bum, right? So, it's a difference. Why does a man that wakes up every single day and goes to a gym and exercises and shoots a probably a thousand shots every hour, why can he not win a championship? Because... He has to understand it's not about the behaviors and about the shots and about him running a certain freaking mile, amount of miles a day. What it's about, it's about timing. Everybody in life has an opportunity. If you miss that opportunity, the opportunity doesn't come back. It doesn't come back. Okay? I missed out on several opportunities that I could have been way further in my life. And guess what happens? It ain't coming back. I'm not going to be there. Okay? I'm not getting it back. But what do I do? I change. So what is the guarantee you're going to make money phone flipping, bro? It's none. But I will tell you this. You can learn something from it. I didn't start doing this crap. I started with a model agency. I was trying to be Birdman. If y'all know Birdman is cash money. I was trying to be I was trying to be Elon Musk in high school creating electric cars. And I didn't know nothing about no car, nor did I have money to start no car. But I was in there drawing up business plans like I was about to start the Tesla. You see what I'm saying? That what didn't work. It didn't work. I was giving class literally in the library searching how I can make the first electric car. And it didn't work because it didn't work and nobody sees my electric car. My, my design was nice though, but it didn't work. Okay. I sat there, gave my business plan to several teachers to help asking them to fund me. It didn't work because it wasn't meant for me. Okay. Then, after that, I started a modeling agency. That's how I met Natasha. That's how I literally sat there and um, honestly started in Philly. Is, is I started a, um, a modeling company called Next Level. I wanted to be a manager, right? I wanted to manage people. I failed! I went to, I had a notebook. And I'm cooking, y'all. So if you don't want me to cook, then you might as well click off. You feel me? Because I'm cooking. And what I'm saying, it got a message. I'm telling you. If you're watching this, it's meant for you. Because I'm really cooking. Because this is really just coming. Straight freestyle. You feel me? But I literally had a notebook full of 110 people I found off of Instagram that I wanted to meet in Philadelphia. Photographers, models, designers, artists, and also um, hosts. Right? I had all these people in my notebooks. I sat in people's basements. In a dirty ass kitchens, okay, where it was rats, mice, okay, cockroaches, spiders, flies, nasty, okay. I sat in and I sat in people's basements, kitchens, bedrooms, preaching a plan. Hey bro, I want you to be a photographer for my company. My name is Brandon Jones, and I, I'm, I'm building this, this syndicate basically, which is a modeling agency, and I want to do da 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 right. Half of the photographers tried to steal the models and start their own business. Half of the models didn't know how to model. They were just a pretty face and a waste of time. And half of the people that had the clubs and the venues, they didn't even own the clubs and venues. So I was sitting there talking, wasting my breath. But I spent so many times sitting there in uncomfortable positions watching myself propose something to people that didn't really care. And I spent time and time and time on these promotions, these these. Plans. I'm talking about I didn't make business plans that were only two pages. My business plans were 60 pages and more. I sat there and spent weeks on plans that never ever came true. 
But you want to know what I learned from me? I learned how to network. I learned how to talk. I learned how to take rejection. I learned how to understand the fact that I'm nobody special. And also that I got to see a bullshitter from a bull. I, like, I literally can spot somebody that's bull crap. Okay? So I learned that. I took that out of the modeling business. Next, what I did was I sat there. I said, okay, I'm going to do this mark tie level marketing crap. Okay? You know the thing where you got to sign such and such up and then such and such sign such and such up and then such and such sign such and such up and then all of that money come up to you because you got such and such and such and such and such and such and then you're going to be a millionaire because you got all these people below you. You know that? I tried that. I was having seminars in my grandmother's house. Okay? I didn't have a house. My grandma would come home from church and it's 15 people in her living room. And she like, Brandon, what are you doing? And they sitting on her couch. On the, You know, grandmas don't like when they sit on the um the ends of the couch. They sitting on the couch. And I lie to you or not, everything I'm saying is true. I'm a hustler. So they sitting on the edge of the couch. My grandma, I'm like, hey, Brandon, come upstairs. Because, you know, grandmas don't want to talk in front of everybody and embarrass you. She's like, Brandon, come upstairs. I want all these people out my house. My mom, listen, I'm I'm, try- I'm about to sign all these people up. I'm about to make it. I got a presentation on the, on the TV. My friend hold my laptop up next to the TV like this. I got the HDMI cord going into the laptop. I'm sitting there clicking through it. Hey, guys, so join Wake Up Now now because if you don't, you're guys, like... I'm literally sitting here acting like I'm I'm at an um, Apple uh, convention or whatever you call them things. An Apple keynote, right? So I'm literally sitting here busting my ass, embarrassing myself in front of my family, telling my family this is going to be my break. I'm going to make it. And guess what happened? I failed. Do you know how it feels? Which I'm sure you guys do. To tell somebody I'm going to make it. When they don't believe in you. And then they end up believing a little bit, you think. And they let you utilize their space or they, they help you. And then you fail like they said you were in the first place. Do you know how it feels when you had to come back and then subconsciously say, you were right. It hurts. But you want to know what I learned from Wake Up Now? I learned the power of networking. Because guess how I started phone flipping? I started with a phone store. I started because one man came to one of my seminars in my grandmother's living room. A, a man that owned a Sprint store and that changed my life. Right after the meeting, he took me outside and he said, hey, I really want to start this multi-network um, company. Um, but how can I bundle phones with it? And I was like, Hmm. We can actually create a business um, plan for everybody that joins my team. And da, 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 da. we started mapping stuff out. And then he saw how I was so good at selling these this plan to everybody. And that's how I started getting into phones. But I tell y'all this story to show you. Do not quit on yourself. Because it's not about if phone flipping is good, if phone flipping is going to make you money, if phone flipping is going to make you something. It's not about that. It's what will you learn from this? Who will you come in contact with doing this? Where will, if you believe in God, God put you? Stop. Stop caring if the shit is going to work. If you want to learn how to do it, learn how to do it and let experience take you through it. I feel like I'm a preacher. Everybody, please pay your tithes, okay? Everybody, <laughs> please play. Like, no, I'm joking. But nevertheless, it is about the experience. It's about the journey because I can't guarantee you anything, but I can say this, yo. You're going to learn by phone flipping how to manage your money. You're going to learn exactly how to flip your money. You're going to learn the fact that money is the most valuable thing that people value in their eyes, but money and all reality has no value because money is only valuable to people that use it the right way. Money is a living organism in my head. Everything in my bank account is moving. I don't save money. My little brother be asking me, hey, Brandon, can, can you cash at me this? Can you cash at me that? Sometimes I got to tell him I'm broke. I can't, bro. I got all of my money in something else. Sometimes it's not true. I hope he's not watching. But regardless, I learned. All right, I'm done preaching to you. I'm sorry. 
I am a college student right now and a lot of my friends do this business. However, some of them effed up their money. However, on the other hand, still I am interested in this just because of you. I'm not going to lie. You are the only person I'm following for the knowledge. Bro, listen, I ain't nobody special. I ain't going to tell you. I ain't going to tell you thank you and I appreciate you. And listen, man, hit me up in Discord. I got your back like a broad strap. Um, I got your back like a broad strap. Yeah, I can do the repair. Just let me know what device. Um, and guys, listen, it's about the knowledge. You hit it on the nail, bro. It's about the knowledge. Uh, Andrew, good judgment comes from experience. Experience comes from bad. Yes, listen, stop wondering if stuff is going to work for you. Okay? Now, that's a little, that's a little contradicting, okay? Because technically... You got to, you know what I mean? I, that's just human nature. But what I will say is this. It don't matter. If you love it, if you are interested in it, learn about it. I never in my life, in my life would have thought I would feel comfortable on a camera. You understand me? Never in my life did I know you can do YouTube. You understand me? But see, it's crazy how life works, right? I came from New Jersey because my mother told me I wasn't going to be nothing, okay? The woman that's supposed to love me, nurture me, care about me, told me I was going to be trash, okay? Kicked me out every other day. I, I slept in rain under cars, did all this other weird crap. Everybody has a sad story, right? But I say that to say all of that pushed me to where I am now. In high school, I worked at Sam's Club, was making more money than everybody else because I lied about my age. I got fired. I remember sitting in the parking lot at 9 p.m., sitting on the curb, crying to my friend, acting like I was about to die. If I didn't get fired for lying, I wouldn't know how freaked up a job really is. I wouldn't have known that jobs are just trying to finesse you and they're trying to manipulate you with money that you deem is valuable and make you sacrifice your time where your time is actually to value you and you can make the same amount of money that you make working at Sam's Club, Walmart, your job where you get a salary if you believe in yourself just as much as you believe you're going to get paid with a paycheck at the end of the week. But I learned that early. Because whatever higher power put me in that position to lie about my age, go to work every day, sell Sam's Club memberships, then get fired, then cry to my best friend who was a scammer and making all of this money, swiping cards and, 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 and cashing out bad checks. And I'm looking at him like, damn, bro, like you out there really making bread, but I'm too scared to do that because I got dignity. My mother taught me how to do things the right way, even though I felt like she hated me when technically she probably didn't. It was just the way that she loved. It was just the way I needed to be treated. But I'm saying this because whether you're in college, whether you are not in college, whether you got a job, whether you're unemployed, whether you're in high school, whether you just a bum, you still can literally make your situation better, but you got to understand no matter what, no matter where, no matter how, be thankful for what the hell you got going on. And if you are, if you have interest in anything, take that, take that, take it on, take it on, try it, try it. That's the worst thing somebody can do is be so scared out there behind that they don't want to jump off a ledge. I done jumped off several ledges. I'm one of the biggest risk takers I know. Ain't nobody in this world, in my eyes, a bigger risk taker than me. If I want to do something, I'm going to do it. Whether it's today, tomorrow, next. I wanted to move to California, I did it. I wanted, I wanted, I want to travel the world, I'll do it. If I wanted to start a store, I'd do it. I wanted to flip phones, I'd do it. I was scared out of my damn ass flipping phones because I didn't even know if the money was gonna come back. I I bought these phones yesterday, okay? I was scared as hell buying these phones and I make videos teaching people how to do it. I did my research and I was still scared. The fear don't ever go away, no matter what business, no matter what, what, what where you're at, no matter if you got a job, when you go to work, right? When you go to work, you mess up, you still have a fear, you might get fired, right? 
So it's like the fear don't go away. I promise y'all, the fear don't go away. That's that's that fear. That fear. That fear is the reason you are successful. Stop trying to get rid of that fear. That fear is gonna be there all the time. Bro. Damn, only if you would have did it. Oh, and said, so, well, OnlyFans wasn't built. This was like 2014 or oh, 2013. But you know you're one of the top phone flipping YouTubers out here right now. Man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I feel like I am one of the top phone flipping YouTubers. I really do. Because I'm the only one to keep it 100. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of these people are not really flipping phones. A lot of these people, what they do, their, their stuff is washed out. Like, they literally are just copy-paste. Right? You think I want to be live right now? I really want to be playing 2K, to be honest. But you want to know something? The reason why I'm doing this... The reason why I'm live for for one hour and four minutes and 30 seconds, 32, 33, the reason, right, is because I understand that it's something in me that gets that this is just a pit stop. That just like when I sat in the basements of these individuals and learned that, you know, people are going to bullshit you and sometimes you're going to put everything into business plan 60 pages to be exact and none of those pages are going to come true you spent hours and hours that made you no money but just like those moments got me here to where I don't have to work right I, I can do what I love which correct me if I'm wrong there's people that that, that go to college they spend four semesters in college. Maybe, I don't even know how college works anymore, but people that get doctorates and all of that, right? And miserable. I'm happy as hell, but I'm stressed the hell out. You understand me? I'm stressed the hell out, but get this. I feel like it's a pit stop because just like all these other situations I told you that happened before, I always learned from it. I always grew from it. There's things I do until this day, and I don't get no benefit. Y'all see how many videos I post on this damn YouTube channel? What's up? What's up? Y'all see how many, how many videos I post? I post so many videos, I don't even edit really no more. Because, see, I used to edit. I used to have a couple's channel. I used to really care about YouTube. I, I love YouTube still. You know what I mean? YouTube don't hate on me. I, I love you. I, I love you. But I do so much work on this channel and get not what I think I deserve. But you want to know why I still do it? Because I love it. And every day I wake up and make a plan on this freaking board of how to get better. Because it's not about what I can get from it. It's what I'm going to take. It is what I'm going to take from it. So, y'all, I, I don't know who needed to hear this. I don't know why I went so berserk. Okay? Like this video for your boy, please. Um, But, phone flipping works. Product reselling works. It might not work for you though. That's that's what made me the latest phone flipping YouTuber out, okay? Because I straight up tell you it might not work for you. It's not for everybody. It might not work for you. But you are gonna take something from it. You're gonna take something from it, and whatever you take from it is gonna build you. That's just what it is. That's a fact. That's a fact, y'all. So I'm about to get off. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all, I'm going to the Sixers game today, so I'm very excited about that. Um, and uh, definitely hit me up on the Discord. Let's, let's work, guys. Uh, if you guys need me, you know where to find me. You guys can hit me up, 445 Uh, And I will see you guys in the next video. I do have to get up because I do have stories to run and things to do, um, you know, outside of here. So I got to get those done. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. And um, I appreciate you. Please like the video. Thank y'all again. You guys are the reason I go live. I'll be live again tomorrow. This time, 1030. Uh, and um, have a blessed one.